More bodies have been discovered in two Philippine provinces after Monday's election-related massacre. The rising death toll, now at 46, has prompted the Philippine government to impose emergency rule. As of last night, the military elements were in place to preserve peace in the area. The dead were among 100 people abducted by armed men on Monday. The southern Philippines has long been plagued by violence and is home to well-established communist and Muslim insurgencies. Earlier, I spoke to Kyle Crichton of the Times Foreign Desk, who's working with our correspondent in Manila, Carlos Conde. These were just people from one of two competing political clans in the area who were going to file election papers for the May 2010 elections. Uh, they were lawyers, journalists, uh, Reporters Without Borders is saying this is the, one of the worst massacres of a journalist, at least 20, mm -hmm. uh, in, that they know about. And uh, conversely, who are, they, uh, who are the armed men and who do they represent? Again, uh, the investigators are looking at the possibility that they were, uh, they were allied with one of the two clans, and that clan in, in, in itself was allied with President Gloria Arroyo, which does present a particular problem for her. But that has yet to be uh, decided. They haven't, you know, figured that out totally yet. Maybe we should back up just a minute and so you can just tell us what the election was about here. Who's running? Well, the, uh, the uh, clan, the, the people who were killed, say that they were challenging for the governorship, which is something that... Of one of these two provinces. Of, of one of right. this, mm -hmm. this province they're in. And that got the backup of the other folks. And uh, so they're accusing them of doing this for... Uh, retribution to intimidate them to drop mm -hmm. uh, you know the Philippines is famous for election violence there are hundreds of political dynasties small ones scattered around all the islands and you know it's a matter of life and death to them that they maintain control and that's how they, they maintain their power and their and their their income so it's something that's long plagued the country